very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new educational video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking before we start I'm really so proud and happy for the results of our extreme trader forex signals group for this week so far I'm really happy and I wanted to share with you the results this is extreme premium signals uh, on telegram and these are the signals we're sending to the paid members and as you can see um, most of the signals on Monday have reached the take profit level except cat GPY 20 pips of loss only against almost 200 pips uh, of profit were made that day then the next day as we can see only U AUD GPY closed now we will mention how many pips later at the weekly uh, results as you can see the remaining signals also in profit uh, then uh, Wednesday also as you can see the signals went really well only two losses each of them 12 and 13 pips the remaining of the signals have reached more than 100 pips of profit for each of them almost um, I think we have reached almost 350 pips of profit that day then yesterday as we can see full of profits all of the signals uh, NZDCHF 120 pips of profit and it's still going actually uh, USD CAD 100 pips of profit AUD GPY 100 pips of profit NZD GPY more than 100 pips of profit so we are doing really very well and we have received so many messages from the happy clients and as you can see this guy here he said that he have made more than 400 4,000 pounds of profit in the last two months this message actually showing you what you can do when you are using our signals properly and if you are prepared for the losses as you know we had some bad days uh, in the last two months but still this gentleman here was able to make more than four thousand pounds of profit um if you are using proper money management and you are prepared for the losses and you know what you are doing you can do exactly like this uh, gentleman here and you can make this really big profit with our signals uh, this gentleman here also he have made more than three hundred dollars of profit and he's very glad for the experience so I'm really very proud and very happy for Angela's performance in the signals we are doing great and thankfully extreme trader is up for the expectation and holding the brand name of extreme trader so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now start explaining the strategy and please bear with me because this video is gonna be long but I just want to summarize all the rules that we need to follow uh, in the 20 pips a day strategy so the very first thing that we need to answer is which pairs that we should select uh, in order to, op to obtain more pips and easier money and the second question is what are the best times to use this strategy okay so let's see right now which pairs are the best to select uh, and comply with the strategy um, these are the pairs you can take a screenshot or you can uh, write it down or on your notebook uh, in general all of the pound pairs are actually uh, pretty much uh, useful and uh, profitable um, and just a small reversal can actually can actually again give you a lot of profits and also euro gpy euro aud euro nzd as well uh, the reason I'm selecting these pairs because let me just show you that uh, as I told you just a small reversal can actually means a lot of profit let me just show you here for example pound and ZD if I just asking for a reversal at that resistance for example uh, this is oh, sorry this is the five minute time frame let's go to the four hour chart as you can see just like that and boom the 20 pips are done so all you need is actually very small tiny reversal and you will get some profits unlike for example uh, cat chf for example uh, in order to obtain 20 pips you need actually a big reversal let's check another pair uh, euro pound i think look at that 20 pips it means it's gonna mean a lot of uh, volatil volatility in the market and we need uh, more liquidity in order to obtain this much of pips that we are seeking so that's why i selected these pairs uh, they are gonna be more profitable for you uh, also gold gold I have another strategy for gold uh, that you can sculpt the gold on one minute time frame but if you want to actually uh, make profit using the gold with this uh, strategy you really need to use IC markets broker the reason is IC markets providing very low spread as you can see the gold spread is very low in general it's uh, lower than two pips as you can see right here this is the spread right here what is this what did I select all right 
this is the spread for the gold as you can see it's very low so therefore applying the 20 pips a day on this pair is very useful however let's now move to the next question what are the best times to use the 20 pips a day strategy uh, daily time actually it is from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. GMT time Greenwich time however uh, from 9 p.m. until 12 a.m. GMT is never an option to trade that is the time when the market goes in very very low volatility and most of the sessions and the markets are actually closed therefore it's really not advised at all to open any trade during these times so please be careful and be wise about what time you are using the selecting uh, to trade the 20 pips a day strategy uh, let's now move to the next slide the, the very first thing we need to understand about the rules of the strategy is support and resistance of course this whole strategy is based on support and resistance I actually have many videos on my channel I have explained more about support and resistance I cannot explain everything in one single video therefore we will just go to the headlines and what we really need to know about uh, um, support and resistance to be applied with the strategy so let's first understand more about support and uh, resistance so as you can see right now <coughs> um, actually support and resistance are happening all of the time every single time you see at the look you, uh, you look at the market there will be always a support and resistance happening let me just show you for example right here if you think about it every single time you can see that the market has reversed from a certain level that is automatically uh, represented as a resistance and if you see the market has res um, uh, reversed from a bottom level that is of course immediately re represented as a support so every single candle every single movement representing a support and resistance if we look at this chart right in front of me we can see that we are having here a resistance here a support and here support even here support uh, this one here resistance this one right here support resistance resistance support and so on so every single bullish reversal is considered as a support every single uh, bearish reversal considered as a resistance now of course it's more it's deeper than that it's much bigger than that but I'm just explaining to you what the other things that we need to know about this strategy now the next thing that we need to understand is every single support and resistance will always and forever be breaking out always no matter how many times how much how much longer it's gonna take or how many candles it's eventually gonna be breaking out as you can see right now we had here for example that support level that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle keep it going we are having right here a support level that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle here we had this bearish reversal right as we can see eventually that resistance has been broken out by this uh, bullish breakout candle even here we had a resistance level that resistance has eventually been broken out by this bullish breakout candle so every single time no matter how big or small the time frame you are using every support and resistance is gonna be breaking out later so let's continue seeing that as you can see we had here a previous support level and that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle this one because the support level is exactly right here so the breakout candle is right here later on that very same previous support level has become the new resistance again that resistance has been breaking out by this bullish breakout candle so if you think about it you can see it happening all of the time every single time always there is a resistance breakout a support breakout there is a support right here breakout there is here a support followed by bearish breakout we had here a resistance bullish breakout so every single time there, the market is gonna break out the support and the resistance now here is the trick let's now move to the next question how to determine the key or strong support and resistance levels yes actually we need to know what are the strong support and resistance levels because as you can see as I told you um, 
this support and resistance thing is happening all of the time and we cannot keep relying on every single time when a previous support become a resistance to open a trade we need to determine what are the key resistance and support levels what are the strongest support and levels uh, the strong support and resistance levels it's very important actually so let me just now go to the four hour chart let me just just show you one trick that you can actually determine where are the strong key and support resistance levels now of course the strong key support or resistance levels can be always determined by seeing the market has reversed as a long wick like that or like that when you see the market has reversed from um, a support or resistance and you see there is a long wick at the top of the resistance like that or like that it means that the market has made a reaction once the market has reached this resistance level the market could not even close as a as a candle there as a bar or close near to the price immediately once the price has reached this level the market immediately made the, the bearish reversal that indicates that this level of the resistance is quite very strong the same thing happening right here also once the market has reached the top of that level as you can see the market has made this long wick here indicates that the market uh, or the rejection at that level was very strong now is that enough absolutely not we need also to look at how the market has reacted to these levels for example if i if i want to mark all the sub the key support and resistance levels for example we have here a support and also here we have a support and here we are having also a support and here also a support and here also a support but what's happening if you focus or you think about it what happened here that the market kept bouncing at these support levels and kept going down meaning the market continued to break out of that support level so going to the next support level the market has made the bounce yet it continued to actually break out of that support level so that is not a key support level these are just the pullbacks the market is just uh, reversing at these levels but it's not the key support level that we are seeking so then finally finally we can see that the market has reached this level right here and made the bullish reversal and the whole direction of this bearish trend has been changed to be bullish trend so the trend has changed right after hitting that support level that is my friend called key support level it is the key support level. The, so the key support level is the level of the support that has actually changed the direction of the trend same thing we can see it right here this trend was moving down as we can see we had here as a tiny small support yet the market has actually made the break out of that support level and kept going down until it finally hit that level and made the bullish reversal and kept going up so that is exactly what we call a key support level these are the levels where we want to focus at and we need to mark it because we're gonna need it for the strategy so I have put the line here on that key support level and I'm gonna put it also at the next key support level which is exactly right here there is another key support level which is exactly right here as well because the market was going down in a bearish momentum then after hitting that support level the market has changed the direction so in other words the key support level is the support that actually changed the direction of the trend and uh, the, the support level which is gonna happen all of the time it's just like the bounces and the market is not actually gonna break out of these levels don't worry I'll come later to the part where we can actually or why we are marking these key support levels we are going to use them for this strategy now of course one second guys okay now of course the very same thing applied for the resistance as we can see we can see that the market here has made this uh, bullish reversal or the bullish momentum um, every single bearish reversal we can see is represented as a resistance so we can see that here we have a resistance here also we have a resistance and right here we have a resistance yet every single time the market has reached this resistance level 
immediately it break out of it and immediately continued rising look at that the market reached that resistance level made the pullback and continued the rise until it finally hit that resistance level right here now after hitting that level the market changed the direction completely and now moved from being a, b a bullish momentum to a bearish momentum therefore that here represented as a key resistance that my friend right here is represented as a key resistance so we are going to need or we need to understand these basics in order to continue in the strategy rules so uh, we have answered the first two questions and how to determine the key or strong support and resistance levels let's go to the third question is when will be there a breakout of any support or resistance now of course the breakout is gonna happen every single time as I said look at that when the market has finally made the breakout of that uh, resistance the breakout was very strong it was quite strong uh, momentum and the market finally continued breaking out until it hit the top resistance the, or the next resistance level uh, every single time we can see that happened actually uh, look at that when the market we have here a key support level and the market reversed right here as well and here and here and finally when the market made the bearish breakout candle immediately the the breakout was very very strong that's why when you see the market actually making the breakout of a key support or a key resistance you need to understand the breakout is gonna be massive and the market is conti gonna continue changing the direction let's see for example here sorry um, let's see as you can see I have marked uh, these levels also uh, this is the key resistance this one here as well and this one and look at that once the market has actually made the bullish breakout candle that di the direction of the trend uh, changed now from being bearish to bullish so the market now is not moving in a bearish momentum at all now it's go moving in a bullish momentum and completely changed the direction so the answer is the breakouts are going to happen every single time but when it's breaking out from a key support or resistance level it's going to be different and it's going to be massive that is exactly where we want to place the trade my friends it is exactly when the previous key support or key resistance for example in this scenario it's when this previous key resistance become the new key support level we need also to understand that these levels are permanent these are permanent levels my friends let me show you I will delete this these two lines and as we can see we had here this support levels right this is the key support level let's let's check together the past of this key support level so in the past it was also a strong resistance level let's continue let's keep it going I'm going back in the past look at that um, 22nd March uh, this the very same level I draw recently it was also a very strong key resistance level look at that the market was not able to break out of this level even when the market made this fake breakout immediately it fall down and reversed let's keep it keep it going keep it going look at that perfect check it out then in the uh, 25 October from 2019 this uh, pair was uh, still representing as a support level here so it was still respecting the level look at that even in May 18 2019 the very same level I draw it was still being respected as a key resistance level even right here and here so the point is these levels are permanent and once you can see any sup key support or key resistance level it's gonna remain as a key support or resistance forever now understanding more about attempt one and two this is not like that actually I need to fix it ie one second guys uh, this is not half this is attempt one and two of any support or resistance now we need to understand that what we are gonna do what we are going to do with this strategy is as I said to you as I just explained to you every single key support or resistance level is gonna be breaking out and that key or support level is gonna be another key and support level so for in, in this scenario 
we are having this previous resistance that resistance has become the new support that is considered as first attempt that is this is, this is attempt actually <laughs> let me just fix it uh, attempt all right so that is the first attempt of the support level right after the breakout candle let me show you more examples of a first attempt because actually they are happening literally every single time uh, the first attempt is always considered right after a breakout so we are having right here a previous resistance level that previous resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and the market visited the very same level of that resistance creating attempt number one so that's the first attempt later on the market has made the break out of that level okay and visited again the very same level of the resistance as we can see that resistance kept its position as a resistance so that for me is also now the first attempt of the resistance keep it going what we are having right here is a bearish breakout candle we can see that we had here that support level then the market made the bearish breakout candle from that support level and now has turned to be a new resistance right here right now that is a resistance this is the first attempt so literally every day there are so many uh, first attempts happening uh, across the day as you can see every single time we having here let me just zoom in um we had we had this resistance level the market has made the bullish breakout can uh, the bullish breakout of that resistance and we immediately had the first attempt of the support all right forgive me for my handwriting is completely shit with the mouse anyway that is the idea that every single reversal happening after the resistance for example here become the new support that is considered as first attempt that is exactly where we want to actually uh, apply the strategy for example we can see right here that the market after look at that the very same support level we just talked about this support level has been immediately broken out by this bearish breakout candle now the very same level of the support has become right here the new resistance this is very important uh, we need to understand right here this one is resistance number one because it is the attempt number one so we represent it as uh, r1 or attempt one later on what happened remember guys we are on the four hour chart what happened later the market has made this bearish reversal created here a support level and immediately went up and look at that this my friends considered as resistance two because now it after the bearish reversal like that it went up again visited the very same level of the resistance one and created the next attempt of the resistance therefore this is considered as attempt two now it's very important to mention that in my strategy I believe or I trust only in these first two attempts only the first and second attempt of any support or resistance is what we are going to rely on and when I say we are relying on it meaning we are going to place the sell order on any of them if I see the market has visited the very same level of this previous support level here is where I'm going to place my sell order then I'm gonna wait for the market to reverse again and visit the very same level to create the at the second attempt or resistance number two and I'm going to place another sell now if the market visited the very same level for the third time that's a big no for me I don't care to enter the trade because most likely if the market is gonna make a third attempt on the very same level it means that the market is trying to break out of that level therefore we need to avoid it and we need to continue trusting only the first and second attempt 
don't enter the third or fourth or fifth ever. Even if you see the market has reversed so many times, even if it reversed for 10 times, don't think that the market is actually uh, gonna reverse because the more attempts, meaning the more potential breakouts. All right? So we need to keep this in mind and always be avoiding the third attempt and beyond that. So let's focus only on the first and second attempt. So that has covered uh, the first uh, slide in our, uh, in our presentation. Let's now continue. Now, when do we place the buy or the sell? After understanding more about support and resistance, let me just tell you, we aim the first attempt when a previous support becomes a new resistance and vice versa, meaning we are going to place the buy order at the lowest level of a support and buy on the highest level of a resistance. Now, of course, the strategy is not that simple. It's not as simple as telling you place a uh, sell or buy when the previous support become the resistance. No, no, no. It's more than that. Don't worry. Let me now show you more rules of the strategy. Now, let me just uh, try to find the better option or let, we are in the CAD CHF. Let me go to the Euro USD. I think it's going to be better uh, idea to show you the strategy that right, uh, right there. Uh, I'm just trying to find any valid setup here. Let me just uh, show you, my friends. I need to find the best setup to explain the strategy. Oh, just one second, hold on. All right, so I found a good example. And please, guys, bear with me because this can be the best example on how to apply the strategy. Now, what we can see right here is we're having a support level. Remember, I'm on the four hour chart. So we can see that we had here this support level. That support has been eventually been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle. Now, it's all about this bearish breakout candle. Let me just mark it right here. It's all about what's going to happen inside this box. Uh, let me just show you. Right now, that is how you apply the strategy. Look at this bearish breakout candle. What you will do is you will bring this line right here and you will put it at the top of the body of this bearish candle. And you're going to bring another line like that and place it at the very bottom level of the body of this bearish breakout candle. That's it. Now, look at that. We are having right here this bearish breakout candle, which has be, uh, which has actually broken out from that support level. Now, let's look at the left and find the nearest resistance. Where is the where is the nearest resistance? Let's keep looking. What we are seeing here is a support, 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 support. Aha, resistance. I can see that here is the, there is a resistance. Exactly. Now, after seeing that resistance level, let me just delete that. That is the nearest resistance level to this bearish breakout candle. Now, the strategy rule is when you see this bearish breakout candle and you see the nearest resistance in the range of the breakout candle, that is exactly where you are going to place your trade is when the market visit the very same level of that resistance, when that resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance that was the whole point of explaining more about support and resistance and the breakout because it's very important to understand this rule because that is the golden rule of my strategy now as you can see uh, that resistance level right here let me do it uh, no i will keep it actually you know something i need actually to change the color of this one so it's going to be easier for you to understand exactly and this one here also change the color uh, i think this one all right so let me just also get rid of this uh, shape oh shit! all right Not the problem let me draw it again so that's going to make it easier so in other words uh, the red lines representing the border of the break the breakout candle and we look at the left then we see that we are having here the nearest resistance in the range of the bearish breakout candle that resistance in the future is gonna keep its position as a resistance that is exactly what i'm going to place the sell order so immediately once the market has reached this level 
I'm gonna place the cell order. Now, the rule number two about that. Let me just see the, the slide. Uh, we should select the nearest support and resistance to our entry as a take profit level and set the same as stop loss. Again, we should select the nearest support resistance to our entry as a take profit level. So let's go back. So now, since we have placed the sell order right here and we are expecting that this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance. Now, where is the nearest support or resistance? As we can see, the nearest support, for example, the market has uh, rised all the way the, or uh, the market rose to this way and reversed at that resistance. Now, if we need to, un after understanding more about support and resistance, where is the nearest support and resistance to my entry? Let's, let's look here. Where is the nearest support or resistance? It's exactly right here. Now, because after the market has reversed from that resistance, it's going to continue, continue falling until it hit this support level. That is the, that is the nearest support level to the resistance. Therefore, that's going to be the take profit. That is where we are going to aim our trade. And therefore, um, we can expect how many pips in this trade, for example. 20 pips. That is the 20 pips a day strategy. Exactly. That is your target. You have reached it. Congrat congratulations. Um, you have reached now the target of the 20 pips a day strategy. And by that, you have actually made 20 pips in this trade. Now, since we have placed a trade right here on that level of the resistance and we set the take profit right here at the nearest support, uh, it is going to be more safe to actually select the very same level uh, the same um, amount I mean, or same pips as a stop loss. So for example, if I opened my trade right here, that is going to be the take profit level. So it's going to be exactly 20 pips and the same is going to be for the stop loss. Exactly. That is the point. So if you place the trade right here, your take profit is going to be at the nearest uh, support or resistance and the stop loss is going to be exactly the same amount. Let's now move on. The strategy tips. For a starter, aim only one trade per day for the first week. Later, later on, you can start opening two trades every day after getting familiar with the strategy. Now, there is a very important thing about this strategy. Um, we are relying on the daily or four hour or one hour chart. Actually, this strategy works well in all time frames. It works on the 15 minute time frame, 30 minute time frame, one hour, four hour, daily. It works with all of them. The idea is we need to get 20 pips in, the, in each trade. Now, since it's actually a little bit hard to find this perfect setup, uh, that is actually a good point because by that we can limit your trades. We don't want you to keep trading the whole day. Uh, I don't want that actually. Forex is so beautiful. It's so profitable world. We just need to understand that we cannot keep trading the whole day. You just need to find this perfect setup, find it and enter it. And by that you can actually limit your profits and your losses if in case they have happened. So what all I'm asking in the first week, you can just open one trade per day until your account grows more. And once the account grows, you can actually start opening two trades every day. And in the future, you can open even more trades, five trades, 10 trades. Just I need you to get more familiar with the strategy. Uh, next thing is completely avoid using the strategy when the market moving in high volatility due to economic news. Now, of course, we need to understand that strategy is not going to work. It's going to be effect not going to be effective when the market actually moving down or up based on some uh, news. Uh, the best example I can think about is Brexit. Um, at the time in 2016, when the mar when the when they have actually voted for Brexit, the pound just kept falling down and down, just like sinking like Titanic. And using any strategy of any kind on that time is going to be useless. If you are going to think to find the, the reversal. Uh, it's gonna just uh, eat your account because 
the market just kept falling down based on the news of the Brexit. So you, you really cannot expect uh, any bullish reversal at that time. Try to aim only the very trusted setups that completes the strategy rules. There is no room for, I, oh, I hope it works, let's see, or I'm praying for it to work, please go up, please go up, please go up, please go up, please go up. Go up. No, that isn't going to work. We do, th you are not a forex trader, you are a gambler if you are keep doing like that. If you just keep looking at the candle and begging it to move up, uh, that is not really how traders do their work. I want you to find only the very trusted setups, only the setups that you really trust, that give you example, um, or sorry, giving you a perfect setup. Actually, I need to find more setups just to show you what I'm talking about, my friends. Uh, let me show you, for example, let's go recently here on the Euro USD. Now, uh, Euro USD, as we see, we are having right here this support level and we are having this bearish breakout candle. So let's now draw the line like that at the top of the body candle and another line at the bottom of the body candle or the candle body sorry now where is the resistance it uh, look at that we are having here a support 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 aha resistance so exactly is it's here where i'm going to place my line let's review the, uh, the rules guys we maybe we have forgotten them placing buy at the lowest level of a support and buy on the highest level of the resist wait a minute placing buy and buy oh my god i made a mistake here sorry um i need to edit that i don't want uh, any mistake on my slides uh placing sell sorry guys that is sell sell on the highest level of the resistance so let's just continue um we aim the first attempt uh placing buy at the lowest level of a support and sell on the highest level of a resistance. So where is the highest level of the resistance? It's exactly right here, right? That is the resistance. Where is the highest level of the resistance? It's right here. Look at that. The market has reversed exactly at that level. That resistance has kept its position as a resistance. Now, since I have placed my trade right here, where I am, where am I gonna set my take profit level? It's gonna be, of course, right here, because this one here is the nearest support. Please look at that. The candle still falling down, and if I happen to place any sell order right here, look at that. I'm already in 34 pips of profit, and I'm aiming actually 40 pips from this setup. Now, since I have placed my trade right here, and that is my take profit level. I'm going to set the very same as a stop loss. So this one here is the stop loss. And this one here is the sell. And this one right here is the take profit. They are equal. And the stop loss is, is just exactly as the take profit. Let me just uh, try to find you more examples. Since I think this is the most and major uh, rule of the strategy. Now, let's take a look at that. As we can see, we're having right here a bearish breakout candle from that resistance. So let's now follow the strategy rules. Let's draw a line at the very bottom level of the candle body and another line at the, the another side of the candle like that. Sorry. So let's, now, let's try now to find the nearest support to this level. As we can see, we're having this tiny support, but it's not really what we want because this one has been followed later by this bearish breakout candle. This is not really counted, so let's continue moving. Where is the nearest support? And we can see exactly, it's very clear right here. So, after seeing that, that uh, the nearest support to my entry was this support right here, let me now draw a line and therefore I'll be sure that the next time that the market reverse on that same, same level, that support is going to be respected as a support. And look at that. It happened. The market has reversed exactly at that support level. Uh, it just went down for almost 20 pips against me. However, it also could, kept going up. And that is fantastic. 
I have to admit that opening a trade here, it actually might um, cause us to lose the trade. But however, let's think about it. If we open the trade right here, where is the nearest support or resistance to my entry? Let's look at the candles one by one. That was, of course, that was, or all of that didn't happen. All right. All of that did not happen. We are just now here opening the trade and we are aiming 20 pips a day from this strategy or uh, the nearest support or resistance. The nearest resistance actually is right here. That is exactly the nearest support or resistance. The nearest resistance is exactly right here. And therefore, if I happened to open any trade right here, the take profit is going to be right here. That is going to be my take profit level. And as we can see, the market has eventually reached my take profit level. And since I'm telling you that the very same uh, amount of pips uh, for the take profit is going to be for the stop loss. So the take profit here in this scenario is 56 pips and the stop loss is going to be the same 56 pips as like that. As we can see, the market did not reach the stop loss. Eventually, the market has reversed and went all the way in the profit and hitting this nearest uh, resistance. That is the strategy rules, guys. That is how you apply the strategy. I believe I have showed you enough uh, examples and I really hope you guys will apply this strategy and you are going to uh, share with us your experience with the strategy. I believe I have really covered the must of the strategy in this video. I did my best to make it very simple and very clear. So hopefully in the future when I post any uh, live trading video, it's going to be now more clear to everyone to understand more about uh, 20 pips a day strategy. So um, I think that covered it all. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.